Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how you can migrate your Office 365 account to Zoho Mail. So if you are using uh, Office 365, so this is your admin panel and you can find your users in here. So if you wanted to use uh, the Zoho Mail to the same domain, uh, so you need to migrate your email from Office 365 to Zoho Mail. So I have uh, this Zoho uh, control panel and I have been added this domain that I've been trying to migrate from Office 365 to Zoho Mail. So the domain verification is done. If you are you know, following my uh, previous videos, you can uh, find that how can I add the domain and here so still the mx record is not pointed we just verified it uh, the microsoft service is uh, running as in you can see that uh, i have uh, uh, quite some mail in here so now you're trying to migrate the whole services from office 365 to zoho mail so to do that we need to click on data migration give a migration uh, 0365 to zoho select the protocol we wanted to migrate from microsoft 365 click on sign in so here you will sign in to your admin portal of your office 365 now you need to give the permissions so click on accept So I want to migrate my email, contacts, and calendars, and everything, all, uh, all email, and pop-ups for the migrated email. Uh, I think yes, we can. Setting is done. Click on Add. Maximum connection limit is five. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have uh, five email in here, so let's proceed with this. Click on create. So the migration created successfully. So it is uh, yet to start created on this. So these are the details that you are uh, given. Now click on start migration. Okay, I need to add an account to start migration okay so click on users click on source email so i need to add in here okay so i think first we need to uh, create the users in zoho mail so, okay, uh, let me do that. So first, check the accounts in here. In users, I have a name, admin at the rate of cloud and beyond dot online. And in my uh, tenant, it's admin at the rate of cloud and beyond dot online. So both are the same name. So let's uh, start the migration. Add it. and the destination it should be the same click on add so account added successfully so now we can start the migration in here so let's click on start Start or start to migrate and you cannot delete or okay no issue start so the process started successfully so it's a limitation i guess because i never used uh, this uh, migration before but uh, what i can understand that you have to manually add the users uh, in here so first you, you have to create uh, all the users all your office 365 users in zoho mail and then you need to match the user in here so once you have complete the match then you can start the migration so uh, if you have uh, quite a large number of users then it could be uh, 
uh, you know, uh, little bit time consuming, but I think that uh, once you have uh, done this, uh, it, sh it sh shouldn't be any issues. So uh, let's see how much time it will take to migrate uh, my data. Uh, I can show you in here. I have uh, uh, just little uh, under of uh, just a 60, just a 60 MB mail. So I don't think that it should uh, take much of time. So migration is in progress. Uh, let's wait for the migration to complete. So now the migration is complete and let's uh, log in to the users and see if we can uh, get the mail in here. So you can log into mail.zoho.com. So once login, as you can see in here, uh, in my inbox, I have 313 uh, items or emails and here is uh, more of the same because I get the notification from Zoho in the Office 365 that has been completed. And now I can check in here in my Zoho mailbox that the email has been transferred successfully along with the send item and everything so the migration works uh, perfectly uh, it takes uh, just a little bit time so it is completed uh, it takes uh, uh, more time than i expected so the migration is completed so in here so you can use the same uh, connector or um, let's say the uh, migration uh, endpoint uh, to migrate other users also all you have to do is to configure this uh, you can use this to migrate uh, so unfortunately you cannot use the same uh, connector uh, to uh, migrate uh, again so what you have to do is that you need to create a new connector in here so now office 365 to zoho maybe one or two uh, the same connector uh, okay the connector uh, there is in here no issues but need the, uh, to give the new name the settings will be the same as uh, before so no need to uh, create that again but you need to add the users add the users uh, manually from here so you need to match the user from here just to give the email address and same email address in here and you can start migration start the migration so uh, that's it today uh, this is uh, zoho office 365 uh, office web to zoho migration and uh, after the migration i still have uh, style using office 365 uh, uh, mx record so my zoho mail uh, domain is not yet point so uh, after the migration you can uh, verify your mx record and uh, your all the new email will come to your zoho mail so that's it for today uh, thank you